Brand new day. How's the floating space, mates? Welcome aboard the Starship in Phoenix Flare. It's me and Fee back here with Dragon Quest 11. Right, we're finally gonna go confront the tentacle monster in the sea, along with the the men of Lona Lulu. Gonna get to my ship. So I did a couple of stuff off screen, not worth recording. It's just mainly upgrading the equipment my party has and uh, crafting this stuff which actually reminds me I did not equip the things properly on Silvando and apparently one of the recipe books gives him a costume there you go now he looks like some prince let's go and meet the boys we met we already met on the sea earlier on At least this time when we want to see is day and not night Like the first time when we set sail and reach this place Where are they? Okay, there they are, let's go Hopefully I don't run into any enemies No! Hello folks, we're here to help I guess So we can get Kai to his beloved mermaid Husband to be. The scrawniest men, of Yoo course. Over here! Excuse me, which one of you big brave boys is Kai? Hmm. They look like they're saying something, but I can't quite make it out. A good view? I love you. Or get away. Screw off! Watch out! Above! Watch out. above, above? You? Look out! Up there! The thing is like, oh my god! Also, there were the graphics when it, it splashed up. To be kidding. Is this the same monster that we fled from from um what's that place called? Gonzolia? Oh my god, it's got its tentacles on our ship already. Okay, that was sudden. It's boss fight time. A tentaculia draws near. And it's unescapable. Let's change up. I will be following my orders You will show no mercy, you will show no mercy and you will focus on healing Let's go harem squad Who says you get the gold on the first turn? Hey, that's cheating, you get 3 turns Is that because you got 2 tentacles and 1 main body? Seems like it. Oh my god, okay, it really has one left tentacle, one right tentacle. I think I should be fine not healing. Serena's turn should be up next. Falcon Slash! Slice it. Yes, slice and dice. Some calamari. We're gonna have seafood for lunch, people. It's protecting. Okay, I think I can still hit the right tentacle. Uh, this is supposed to be a boss fight, right? I hope I'm not too overleveled for this because apparently I'm killing the tentacles fast enough. Ow! Okay, even though I do quite some damage to it, it's so so. Ooh, crap, Veronica's dead. Like, literally, in this game, when they have zero HP, it's not knocked out, they die. As the text just said, Veronica dies. <laughs> Wow, that was fast. Um, okay. I'm gonna have to switch her out. Well, 
Um, I'm not sure who's Eric, I guess. Come on in, Eric. Well, come on down to the Price is Right. I gotta change his tactic as well. Uh, uh, mix it up is fine. How dare you kill my little lolly kun? I completely didn't know that Eric was pepped up. Okay. I guess I subbed him out when he still had pep. Now's not the time. Now's not the time to get shy boxed. Oh, thanks for giving us a free turn. Somewhat. It got poison, cool. So now it's taking poison damage and the boulder damage. <laughs> what a critical hip drop. Okay, um, actually I think... I'm thinking of bringing... How do I check the attributes of my party? No, I forgot what skills Rab has. Uh, does he still have that AoE healing move? But I know Silvano has, so I'm bringing him in. So he can do his hustle dance. Turn him into fried calamari, man. Okay, well the tentacles were weak, but the boss himself isn't that 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 bad. He's pretty sturdy, and okay, here they come. Here they come back. Not really wanting the AOE. Well, AOE. He. Spells. Oof. Can my spells hit all of them? Okay, Bang can. It's not very powerful. I really want Veronica back. This is bad. Okay, not very good. What is happening? This is not very good. Someone please pep up or something. Um, I think I'm gonna have to bring in another healer. Because my healers have been incapacitated for a while now. Oh, he's almost dead though. But... Seriously, I don't really want to die either, so... This round's on me! And by that, I mean this round is for healing. No, Suvando! Alright, oh, the tactics are kind of messed up. I guess mix it up is fine. Don't really need them to focus on healing, even though they have healing abilities. Well, I am gonna heal Serena. Make sure she doesn't die, my dedicated healer. Any thoughts about me being overleveled is is soon gone. Okay, here we go, the AoE healing spell. And there she goes. No, don't attack. Okay, whatever, you kill the tentacle. It's fine, I guess. Oh, he didn't even bother going for the right tentacle. He killed this we bitch ass. It, Does that mean Veronica did, doesn't receive the EXP again because she's dead? Ho -ho! I'm fitter than ever. More heal. Is more heal single target or AoE? If Veronica doesn't level up, then I think she did not get EXP. Ah, drat. Okay, Veronica did not get EXP.
Blaga boga blaga. Blaga argo argo. I guess you're a fan of the fashion of Argyle, huh? Argyle clothing. Hey, we managed to defeat it. You useless fucks. Oh, thank you, thank you, <laughs> darlings. It was nothing, really. Mahalo, mahalo. Whoever you people are, I can't thank you enough. But I can sure feed you enough. Tonight we're gonna have a luau to remember, and you're gonna be the guests of honor. Get ready to drink, dance, and fill your belly with fish till you fall down. Come one, come all to Lona Lulu. Can I invite the mermaids? Which you guys probably don't get along with. <laughs> I don't care about some Dagnabbit festival. Is Veronica still dead? Oh no, she got healed up. Okay. Uh, before we continue, I guess luckily we don't have to run to the church to to revive her. Let's see if we can learn anything. We can go upwards and learn critical hit chance and. Well, to learn this, I need to learn great sword as well so this 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 must be this has to be something that's worth it oh okay there's another skill up there there's a there's a metal slash here that I guess gives you a, a confirmed chance of hitting metal slimes and stuff but there's also a giga slash that's up here secret one-handed sword technique oh it's AOE I'm going for that and I don't have it costs 25p. That is gonna take some time. 9p. I don't think I'm gonna learn anything. Oh, you can actually learn purse cutter or assassin's stab. No, I'm still going for assassin's stab. 7p is not gonna get anything, and you didn't level up, so bummer. This one too. 14. Maybe you get something. Dual wielding, can you dual wield uh, the whips? I, I, did I ask that question before? <laughs> oh no, I kind of want to know what what's underneath this. Well, you know, maybe I could always save and then learn it and then reload the save. But no matter, not now. Jade, can you learn anything? Any skill? Okay, you can learn something. Can you learn Thunder Trust? Oh, okay, I'm saving for Multi Trust. That's not enough yet. What about you, Rab? Come on. Do me a solid. Learn something. <laughs> I might as well learn... No, I might as well learn this, you know. Because if I learn this, it doesn't... It, it helps to uncrack this, but it doesn't go towards uncracking this. If I learn this, it does. I'm gonna see what's in the middle here. Hawkeye Claw. It invokes, it summons the power of Hawkeye from the Marvel Universe. Undodgeable, unblockable, and unstoppable. Maybe that's a good way to hit metal slimes? Well, only rap provided me some joy in learning stuff. Which friend are you talking about? Which guy? I have a few guys. Are you talking about Silvano or Eric? Oh, Dave's drunk. Sure. Aloha oi tentaculia.
That was only four lines. One night, four lines, fine. I guess if you came out with the tune and all that, that's okay. No, it can't wait. Let's let's just find him immediately. Are you confessing? Oh, okay. Just happy that the husband is back. Oh, boyfriend. I don't know. Uh, okay. Even the church woman is drunk. Well, I might as well do a save. Cause I have no idea what's gonna happen next. Things sound too hunky dory. Oh, it's the sexy lady. The guy really grinds my gears. And he's nowhere to be seen. Okay, he's nowhere to be seen. So there's probably a reason why they're still hiding how, how this Kai looks like. Is he... What if he's just a kid? Oh my god. He's a good kid. Like, a literally, literally a kid? Or maybe because you're just older than him. <laughs> well, I guess the ten tentacular died for us to to die trying the giant squid thing. Did they, did they take it? I hope they took the meat and, you know, fried it. Don't even need to fry it. Cook it at least. Obviously. Cool, I'm not a hero everywhere. I'm a fucking luminary, man. Is this old man disturbing you? Ah, uh, let's see. Sure. Maybe one day, maybe one day when everything's over. Yes, yes we should. That's why I'm trying to find all my party members and talk to them. Oh shit. Is that where I was supposed to go? I, I didn't see Veronica or Serena. Where do you think you're going? You're off to look for Kai, aren't you? Well, I'm coming with you. Oh, hello, Veronica. What are you doing out here? Weren't you dead? <laughs> oh, like, literally dead. Said the party was only for grown -ups, so they oh, no wonder she wasn't inside there. Is nothing better to do so I might as well join you it'll be freaking hilarious if Veronica turns out to be a, a like some woman I mean a girl a lady what would you use the term here someone that's able to get rip roaring drunk like she's able to hold her liquor well but now she's trapped in the form of this little girl so she can't really do anything much Okay, so he's at the dock, apparently. Let's rush for it. But talk to people who are on the way. So this is your husband. <laughs> Do you ever get to see his real face? Like, I'm surprised your kids aren't growing out wearing the masks as well. I see Serena. Let's talk to her. She's got like a whole, whoa, a whole queue. They keep coming back because you're pretty. Hey now, don't talk about that. Like, uh, don't talk like that about your wife. I think he's there. He's sitting right there, woman. Okay. Is the dock the one outside or the one over here? Maybe we don't even need to go outside of the town. Now, are you Kai?
Wait, I want to see how Kai looks like. I can't really take a good look. Big and strong, huh, Michelle? He looks like a regular guy. Unless he can transform. Then color me impressed. Sorry, but I'm not the man from your story. You must have me mixed up with somebody else. Hm. Don't give us that nonsense. We know you're the only Kai in Lonolulu. If you never meant to marry that poor mermaid, you should never have proposed to her. Hey, go easy on the accusations, will you? People here got no love for mermaids. If they think I do, I'll be in trouble. The Kai you're looking for is my grandfather, Kainoa. I take it you've heard the tale I knew of the it. mermaid's curse. Michelle had been ha, has been there waiting for so long that it's probably actually been a few few hundred years or something now instead of just a while. Nope, I've not heard Every of it. Kid in Lanalulu knows it by heart. I mean, the maybe the villagers, the, uh, the townsfolk here, have talked about it, but I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that! I think so I kind of heard it. That's what that your mom. That he abandoned the Kahuna's daughter and got banished to Saikiki Beach. Yeah, I think that's the story that your mom was was say, uh, telling the kids. Yes, yes, your mother told us all about it, but I can't see what an old fairy tale has to do with anything. You can't keep Michelle waiting any longer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not a fairy tale. It's true. The fisherman from the story? That was my tutu, my grandpa. <gasps> it all happened 50 years ago. Okay, maybe not hundreds of years. Like my ma tells it. Hundreds of years. didn't end there. He went Ten back, didn't he? Grandpa got chased out of the village. The Kahuna's daughter, Leilani, she married another man, and they had a kid together. And the After kid the was baby kidnapped. Came, the people started to forget about Kainoa and the curse the mermaid put on him. Till one day. Oh no, Kainoa came back as the squid monster. Another great storm struck, even more violent than the one that sent my grandfather to the bottom of the sea. The Kahuna's boat went down, and him and his daughter's new husband went with it. Okay. The men who survived went to break the news to Leilani. But when they got there, her and the baby, they were nowhere to be found. The mystery deepens. Where the heck did the everyone go? It was the mermaid's revenge that she took all four of them because she couldn't have Kainoa. So they lit torches and they marched to Saikiki Beach to confront him. When they threw open the door of his hut, they couldn't believe what they saw. He had transformed into a monster. <laughs> oh dear. He'd been living all alone for the last 10 years. But there he was with a baby in his arms. And the baby, it was dripping with water. Why is he blue? I'm scared. People shouldn't be blue. They ran off screaming, talking about how he must have had a kid with the mermaid. And that was the last time anyone from the village went to Saikiki. Hmm. Wait, but that baby must have been your mother, which would mean she was half mermaid? Which would make you a quarter mermaid, a merman. Coolie, coolie. Don't even say it. My mother is a human being. My grandpa found her abandoned on the beach and raised her as his own. He never had a kid with a mermaid. That's just a stupid rumor made up by a bunch of superstitious fishermen. That mermaid really is still out there somewhere waiting for Grandpa. There's something I want you to give her. A big old punch. Meet me on Saikiki Beach. It's on the other side of the cape. You can get there through the chapel at the back of the village. I'll leave the door unlocked. Okay, that was uh... A real twist. 
can't say I didn't see that coming because I mentioned before the mermaid had probably been waiting for a long time actually instead of just a while. Right, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next. So let's hurry for the church, which is behind this stupid door, which is up these stairs. And then you see the Mercedes Benz logo. <laughs> And here we are. Oh, Rab, there you are. I forgot about you. Dear God, village graveyard. Okay, let's get ready for some horror scares. Psychiki Beach. Oh my, look at all the gravestones here. One sparkly spot. Ah, ah, ah. Any treasure chest though? I think the sparkly spot should be down here. Yeah. There we go. Crimson coral. Nothing too special. We've already gotten a few of them. I think. You know, sometimes I think I already have a few of the items that I picked up, but when I go around to forging or using them for forging, then I find out that I actually only have like one or two of them, which is very weird. Somehow. Oh, treasure. I, I I don't I don't know for sure because I haven't been recording uh, what I found in treasures, I mean. But it seems like 50% of the time it's a mini meadow that you, you open in a treasure chest. Okay, he's probably inside there. Oh, how did I manage to skip that cutscene trigger? This veil was my tutus. Ma said when she found him after he died, he was just lying there holding on to it. Oh shit, so he's dead, so there's no way to like actually reunite Michelle and Kai Noah. If you really know where to find that mermaid, I want you to take it to her and tell her he's dead. She's gonna demand a sacrifice. You're gonna have to come along. Can I wear it? <laughs> Look. I'm sorry if I was kind of short with you back there, but it hasn't been easy for me and my ma. After grandpa died, they let her go back to the village and marry a local guy, but it didn't stop folks talking. But she rose above it, turned it into that story show of hers, and now that's how she makes her living. She's a smart woman, tough too. I hate that mermaid for what she's put us through. And I don't want my kids to suffer like we have. The kahuna is finally letting me sail with the other men. The curse is nearly undone. Please, take the veil and let that be an end to it. Okay, so that's the story from his point of view. Now we're gonna have to go back to the strand and then see what um, Michelle has to say about all of this. I was thinking if this was like a western RPG, then they'll probably give us a choice like to side with the Lonalulu people or to side with the mermaids. And then you'll probably end up with the destruction of one side, haha. <laughs> I kind of just want to just teleport straight back to the Strand. But I'm not sure if this game has any inbuilt uh, safety measures to prevent us from missing cutscenes. Because uh, the previous game I was playing, which would be Tales of Berseria, there there's also a fast travel system as well, but it didn't allow you to travel to certain areas if it would mean that you miss out on uh, important story cutscenes. I'm assuming this game isn't dumb that it would uh, um, le like let you miss out on important stuff. I think everyone's back to the normal places already, so... We should... Oh, okay, these two are still dancing, haha. Uh -huh. Couple of drunk people still here. But I think it should be fine for me to... Teleport to the Strand. Yeah, the only difference is uh, a bit more people... Oh, there's a pink dot. Okay, let's try talking to the pink dot. Pink dot. 
But like I was saying, uh, the only difference is that the village is more populated now because the guys are back. So why would we have a ping dot here? Oh, uh, I guess this is supposed to be Kai's house. And a woman sleeping is Kai's mom. Okay, no wonder we could find her at night, but uh, during the daytime, she's not around. I don't think th things are gonna be as easy as this. Michelle will probably demand a sacrifice if she turns out to be the evil mermaid that everyone says. I mean, if mermaids turn out to be as evil, as as evil as how the Lona Lulu people says they are. Lie to. Uh, no! Oh shit! Oh my god! There was a choice between lying and telling the truth, and I told the truth. I don't know if lying would have, like, made it some other. Like, like. diverted the story or something. I'm. I'm assuming that if you lie to her, she's probably gonna say something like, Oh, I can't wait for him to come, and then after that, uh, the conversation ends, and then you'll eventually have to tell her the truth. It's been a, a long time, my girl. Oh crap, okay. Back to Lona Lulu we go. Ah, okay. That's what I was talking about, this preventive trigger. Oh, uh, you know, safety measure. Lovely jubbly. Okay, that's smart. Like, we come up from Saikiki Beach instead of the the docks of Lona Lulu. I still find it fun to say the name Lona Lulu. Lona Lulu. Lona Lulu. If the locals see a mermaid, <laughs> you'll feel their hearts of fear. Yep. Just, just hide here. I'm really doing most of the Lona Lulu quests in the night time because that's. It's just I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's meant to be. Like I arrived in Lona Lulu the first time when it was night, although I, I'm pro pretty sure that's like not determined. You can come in during the day, but for this part of the quest, since they party until the night time, and if you proceed uh, fast enough, it should still stay at night. What's the timing right now? It's still the middle of night. Kai, I hope you're not asleep. Maybe you want to bring your mom along and then she'll freak out, you'll freak out and everyone's gonna freak out. Sexy lady, what are you doing? Um, well, I won't make any presumptions, but I will say you like him. Yeah, I... I, I like, like I said a few times before, I think the choices in this game where well, the yes no choices don't matter. It's just an illusion of choice. Yeah, come along. Uh, we're gonna have a romantic stroll there and I'm gonna confess my love to you. Because secretly I am the mermaid. <laughs> Yeah, strange, huh? 
the new people in towns are the only friends you have. This is the Kahuna, right? Oh, I did not notice. Or more like I didn't pay attention and see if we could actually see Yggdrasil from there. I'm gonna look up in the sky. When we get to the beach. Not gonna bother saving. Hope that's not my undoing. Can we see the Yggdrasil from here? No, not really. Actually, which direction is this? Uh, world map, where are you? Okay, Yggdrasil is very far away from where we are. It should probably be in this direction. But where is Michelle? Why Take out your shells, Michelles. Why am I not surprised that Kainui looks like or sounds like Kainoa? Yeah, oh, cuz yeah, I'm Do Kai. You? I'm a freaking the freaking mermaid. I guess this has to be done in nighttime, huh? Cuz there's a moon reveal. What? You're a mermaid. The curse is back, baby. <laughs> oh, silly me. I'm always far too quick to jump for joy. You don't know me. I don't know you. You're not my darling boy. No, I'm not. The man you loved, he was my grandfather. But he's not here anymore. Alone and friendless on this cold and windswept shore. Oh, how could I forget we mermaids live 500 years? Quick as a flash, a human life just ups and disappears. Without Kai, hours seem to pass too slowly to be true. But now I see cruel time was flowing faster than I knew. my love across the sea until the bitter end i said i would reward you and i mean to pay that debt you'll find your prize upon the self-same island where we met i'm sorry i can't come along and see you on your way but now i'm here i can't go back i think i have to stay
Oh, was she gonna kill herself? You've got your granddad's hands, you know. So soft yet strong and honest. The hands of one who never ever make a faithless promise. Cause the legend was that if they got legs, they couldn't they're not supposed to get wet again if not they'll turn into foam. Melt away into foam. And I think that's what she was trying to do, go back to the sea. And I say legend, but I'm pretty sure she was the one who told me when we first met. If I had been a human, or if he had been like me, perhaps we could have lived together, happy as can be. But I'm a mermaid. He's a man. There's no point asking why. He was my one true love. But now, it's time to say. That's actually quite sad. I can't stop thinking I've seen her somewhere before. Of course, Grandpa's cabin. <laughs> His drawings. Oh man, I'm tearing up here. This story is actually turning out to be quite sad. Like the previous stories in the other towns, maybe they have some sort of twist to them, or they ended up, you know, they have a happy ending. But this one's. Pretty bittersweet. Have we not thought to come inside here or were we not allowed to come inside here? I'm gonna steal your stuff. Haha, pitch pole, what the heck is that? You know this this cabin could be positioned to be either like you know used like this or you know it, it could be a horror cabin depending on the mood, but whatever. Let's see the scary painting, Layers of Fear! Oh wow, that is a pretty drawing. It's like your grandpa was able to tell the future! What's this? A letter? The fuck? You have never noticed it? Jesus Christ, Kai. This is grandpa's handwriting. Dearest beloved, Ever since you saved me on the day of the great storm, the dream of one day being reunited with you is all I have lived for. But now I fear that dream is over. Forgive me, my darling, but I cannot keep my promise. I'm face palming so hard right now. If you had found, if you had noticed the letter, you could have let Michelle read it before she Some died. Years after my boat was burned and I was exiled to this beach, the fishing fleet was hit by another great storm. Many people lost their lives. The Kahuna and his daughter Leilani's husband were among them. One night, not long afterward, I saw a woman standing on the cliffs. She had a baby in her arms. It was Leilani, the woman who was once to be my wife. father and husband gone, she had lost all hope and all reason. I called out to her, but in her grief, she could not hear me. Before my disbelieving eyes, she threw herself into the ocean. I tried to save them. I did everything I could, but only the baby survived. Michelle, you fixed me up real good. I'm fitter than ever.
Kai, I know you've got to go. There's things you have to do. Just promise me you'll be back soon. I'll wait right here for you. And they never saw each other again. Sorry, Michelle. I... I can't leave. I can't just be thinking of myself anymore. This child needs me. The villagers say you put a curse on me, but it's only because they don't understand. They don't want what happened to me to happen to anybody else. You have to forgive them. They don't know you like I do. They don't know you at all, and what they don't know, they fear. I sometimes wonder if you're still sitting there on that rock, still waiting for me to return. You know you could have taken a child along to find Michelle and... Some, something might have been figured out, you, you guys could have taken care of the child together. It's too late for me now. I'll never make it back there. Then again, he did mention that his boat was burned. So... Maybe he had no way to leave. I love you. I always will. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so hard on you. Without you, I'd never have known all of this. Never met Michelle. All this time, I hated that mermaid for what she did to my grandfather. But now I see how he really felt. He wasn't cursed. He really loved her. Okay, he's not saying anything anymore, like anything new. So I think that wraps up the quest line of Lona Lulu and the mermaid and everything. So yeah, well, that was kind of a bittersweet ending to everything. And I think this is a good place to wrap up the video. We'll find out what exactly Michelle left for us in the strand next time so if you've enjoyed this episode why not leave a like and a comment down below and if you want to find out what happens next be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can stay updated with this series as always i'll see you guys in the next one and this is infi blasting off